Why are Lubavitchers not careful to eat Shalashudas? First of all, Chabad will do Shalashudas. It's not like we won't do Shalashudas. We're not makpid on Shalashudas. I mean, the Rebbe, whenever he made a fabrengin at the end of a Yom Tif, washed and ate a third Suda, right? the Rebbe very often would wash Shalashudas. In other words, it's not like it's also to eat Shalashudas. We're not makpid on Mahadr and Shalashudas. And it's a, bit, it's a bit strange. It's a bit involved. The source of it really is that Rabbeinu B'chaye, Rabbeinu B'chaye, I think it's in Pashas Meshpotim. Um, and it says in a lot of Sfarim of Kabbalah, what Rabbeinu B'chaye is a Rishin. That says that the Gemara learns the three meals of Shabbos from the Pasuk by Mon, right? Hayem and Meishel Om, Ichluhu Hayem, Ki Shabbos Hayem Lashem, Hayem Leitim Tzu Basad. That the people collected Mishneh, Lecha Mishneh, they collected on Friday twice as much mon as they uh, normally collected. And they came to Meshach Rabbeinu to ask him. And Meshach Rabbeinu actually says, Meshach Rabbeinu had not told him about Shabbos until then. And they told him about Shabbos. And tomorrow there's not going to be any mon. Came the next morning, there was no mon. So Meshach said, the left of him yesterday, you should eat. And it says three times, Ichlu Hayem, eat it today. Ki Shabbos Hayem Lashem, today is Shabbos. Hayem Leitim, Tzul Basad, today you're not going to find it in the field. So from these three Hayem, you learn the three meals of Shabbos. And the Gemara, there's different shittas, the shittas, you have to have four meals on Shabbos, but that's how you have three meals on Shabbos. So it's Medayik, it says Hayem Lay. The third Hayem says Lay. Hayem Lay means that the third meal of Shabbos is not. It's a suda that you don't eat. The Dugmul Adav is Yom Kippur, Rabbi Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, which is three days. And it's explained that the days of Rosh Hashanah you eat. Yom Kippur is you don't eat. But it's not like you're fasting. It's the Pshat. What's the Lashon? That the, there's a Lashon that I'm, it's escaping me at the moment. The not eating of Yom Kippur is amazing. Usually we, you, you, when you fast, you don't eat. You're missing food. On Yom Kippur, the fast, that's what it is. The hunger, the not eating gives chayas. And of course, there's a lot of chsidis to this. When you're one with alakus, why do you have to have food? You have to have food because you need life. And the life is outside of you. On Yom Kippur, you need life. But you don't have to have food because you and the life are one. So in a microcosm, in a miniature way, the three meals of Shabbos, are compared to the two days of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, or to Elam Hazeh, Yom Eisem Mashiach, and Elam Haba. And Elam Haba, there's Lei Eim Be'achi L'Shtiyah. So it's not the Pshat. There's no Sholish Sudas. There's Takesh Sholish Sudas. There's three meals. But the idea of the first meal and the second meal is that you have to take food from outside of you, inside of you. And the third meal of Shabbos, you eat without eating because the you and the food, you and the nourishment are one and the same, like it's going to be Liyosad Lavi. That's the Pshat. Just like Yom Kippur, the not eating is food. By Shalashudas, the not eating is food. So that I, we can't, Esen Shalashudas, Nishma Daik Esen Shalashudas. I read someplace that the Pshayel Bruk, who was a very big Chosid, and we're still waiting for his biography to be published, um, but traveled someplace where there were a lot of people not from Anash, not Lubavitcher, and they invited him to Shalashudas, and his answer was, it says a title from Muz Redenweg in the Mebish. Now is the time to talk about a Kaddish Baruch, what he meant, the Chazach Sidis, Chazer and Dach, Chazach Sidis, which is instead of Shalashudas. So we don't eat Shalashudas, this is the reason. And, uh, but at the same time, it says in Ayim Yem, that Rabbi Yaisi, that Nemuke Ime, said, Yehei Chelki, Me'ech Lishalash Sudas, that uh, Rabbi Yaisi says that it's a big deal to eat Shalashudas. So we were makbed to eat something. Not that you don't eat. You eat a peyri, you eat something. You do eat something against Shalashudas because you don't want to miss on this Lashon. It says in the Yem This Rabbi said, Yezokt, Yehei chelki me'ech lishalash su'udas. So we do eat something. There's a te'ima. We taste something. But the reason there's no washing and eating a meal in Shalashudas is because the meal is an Indian ruchni. It's, it's, a, it's a meal. But it's not physical food, it's spiritual food. And that's why the meaning by chesidim is that shal shudas, chazat me chesidim, serayi v'derayi and many kills kaddishis, and it should be in all kills kaddishis, they say chesidim uh, at that time. Chazat chesidim is that.